Hey y'all, it's Britt. As you may know, our industry has had quite a history. It began more than a century ago in 1913, not with something as minor as the inauguration of President Woodrow Wilson, but with the first ever drive-up service station in Pittsburgh. And then, while Lucky Lindy was soaring across the Atlantic, and Heisenberg, no, not that one, was developing the uncertainty principle, the Southland Ice Company gave birth to the idea of a convenience store. Convenience stores trace their roots back to the corner ice shop that stayed open late and served those who needed a place to buy basic necessities after the grocery stores closed. And so by combining after hours availability with staples like milk, bread, and eggs, the concept of convenience became synonymous with our industry forever. Through thick and thin, world wars, the Great Depression, the expansion of suburbia and the federal highway system, convenience stores grew, developed, and innovated. And then there was a revolution. In 1961, some pretty cool cats formed the National Association of Convenience Stores. NAX created a community of retailers, suppliers, mentors, and lifelong friends who created the foundation for what our industry has evolved into today. And we continue to grow stronger. We've overseen the genesis of the world's first self-service fuel pump, helped convenience store owners navigate the energy crisis and disco, witnessed major developments like barcode printers, touchscreen ordering, and neon leg warmers. We debuted Nax Magazine and Ideas To Go, advocated in Congress, and wove the idea of convenience retail into the DNA of America. And we even helped us wage your Y2K fears when computers neither broke down, exploded, nor gained sentience, as far as we know. Now, every day, half of America goes into a convenience store. That's almost 165 million transactions a day. And 90% of America lives within 10 minutes of a convenience store. We're the industry that revolutionized convenience, and we're charging full speed ahead into the future.